Equal favourites for dead to start, Acrobantula, the WOP. Good support, critical altitude, who's got the wow. inside ball. Gate spring, they're off and racing, it jumped well, but Acromantula began brilliantly. And Acromantula's going to quickly head off critical altitude, going forward Miss Lavinia. Vedette de Star's going to posse up nice and prominent from Queen Brown. And two lengths behind those is Precautionary, sorting themselves out this small field, headed past the 700. Acromantula led the way and just steadied them up a little from Miss Lavinia. Critical altitude is over on the inside. Vedette de Star is much handier to them and then a length and a half Queen Brown the same margin precautionary by the 400 they approach the turn now they're about to straighten up where it's Acromantula about to be joined over on the outside by Miss Lavinia and then a length and a half critical altitude searching for run down the outside Vedette to Star picks up at the 200 it's Acromantula the leader Parnham has to go to work on Vedette to Star Acromantula kicks Acromantula has got them I'd say leads the way by a length Vedette to Star's coming now but it's Acromantula again. Acromantula beat Vedette the star. Miss Lavinia third from critical altitude. And then came Queen Brown and last right from the get-go, precautionary. Acromantula does it again. Joey has a party, holds off Vedette the star and Miss Lavinia. It's the written tycoon gelding Acromantula. It's three from four. Two straight wins now, this preparation. He jumped cleanly and uh, as a party had him rolling into the corner. Vedette de Star was much more prominent today, but she was unable to bridge the margin. Tried valiantly late and Miss Lavinia was always there prominent and has battled strongly there into third placing, coming off her recent maiden victory at Pinjarra. Critical altitude under sufferance back on the inside in fourth placing. The winner is owned by Alan Olive and trained by Dan and Ben Pierce. A written tycoon for your eyes only, Gelding. He's well bred. He's certainly racing up to that great pedigree. And ridden by Smoking Joe as a party, beats Vedette de Star by Zoo Star from Whoever. Owned by Pete and Greg Walsh. Trained by Simon Miller, handled by Chris Parnham and Miss Lavinia by Brazen Bow from Nixon for Barry and Jan McCrosty in the Simon Miller stable as well. And ridden by Natasha Faithful. So three quarters and a length are the official margins. No time to hand just yet, but it does the job once more. Acromantula and uh, now with three starts over the short course here at Ascot for three wins. Does the job there and beats Vedette de Star, who was closing in late, 34.57 the sectional, and the time is still to be confirmed. Race two, the Crown Perth Plate, 1,200 at 12.24, three and eight both out, written exceed, crowned princess. Okay, uh, Vedette de Star trimmed up late in the final stages of betting to run favourite there, 2.45, Acromantula 2.70, the top two in the market regardless, and uh, it's Acromantula that again has got the job done and thwarted Vedette de Star, Britt Taylor, as we head down there to the enclosure. Thanks very much, Darren. A lovely win by Acromantula again. Dan Pierce joins me. Dan, we heard from Joey post-race when uh, he won first up, saying how important the, the rail is to a new, inexperienced horse. How confident were you when you saw him able to find the rail today in the early stages? Yeah, look, it was good when he uh, when he got there, and uh, and he's uh, he's getting better education-wise as he goes on. He's an exciting horse, and uh, and yeah, look, he's he's starting to be able to come back to him now mid-race, and uh, and then that uh, obviously helps him in the finish. Does he, does he show that greenness behind the scenes at home, and is it something that is improving? Yeah, definitely. He's better as a gelding, um, but yeah, he's still got his quirks, and uh, um, and Ben's got a pretty good relationship with him now, and uh, and he's uh, he's got him under control, and uh, and he's Im improving all the time. Both wins over a thousand metres, or, or three wins at a thousand metres. Does he have the the capacity to step up to twelve and be really competitive at a further journey? Yeah, I think he. Uh, I think he could. I don't see any reason why uh, he couldn't. While these thousand metre races are here, it obviously makes sense. But uh, yeah, I think he went out to the 1200 last time, but uh, had excuses. And obviously, stepping into a stakes race, we threw him in at the deep end, and uh, uh, and he needed a spell after that. But uh, but yeah, look, I don't certainly don't think he's only a thousand metre horse. It's doing, he's doing everything right at the moment. Well done.
Thank you. Dan Pierce there, training in partnership with brother Ben Acromantula, building up a nice little rec record. Three wins now from four career starts. And Scott, as uh, Dan just said, when he's doing everything right at the 1,000 metres and these races are available, it makes it really hard for others to win when you've got a 1,000 metre horse that can jump, run, run time early and then give a good kick into the bend. Everything you said is spot on there, Britt. The two kilo weight swing that he had to concede today to Vedette de Star, not enough to turn the tables and that is 1,000 metre racing. When you're out in front, you're very hard to beat. It certainly is. Acromanchla taking out the Amelia Park Handicap. We got a lot to say, but we don't